This is Tradeflow News, bringing you relevant news and insights from around the world. Tradeflow News, enabling trade for SMEs and economies worldwide. These are some of the key topics that we will be looking into in today's program. First, let's take a look at the overnight headlines which are impacting the commodity markets. China's June diesel exports rebounded from May and more than doubled from the same period last year, as refiners shipped out more surplus barrels amid record refinery production. Diesel shipments last month reached 2.36 million tons, versus 1.68 million tons in May and 1.04 million tons in June 2020. Data from the General Administration of Customs showed on Sunday. Chinese refineries processed at record rates in June as plants returned from maintenance and due to the startup of a new crude unit at private mega refiner Zhejiang Petrochemical Corp in April. OPEC plus ministers agreed on Sunday to boost oil supply from August to cool prices which have climbed to two minus one half year highs as the global economy recovers from the coronavirus pandemic. The group, which includes OPEC countries and allies like Russia, crucially agreed new production allocations from May 2022 after Saudi Arabia and others agreed to a request from the United Arab Emirates, UAE, that had threatened the plan. We are happy with the deal, UAE's energy minister Suhail bin Mohammed al Masrui told a news conference. Saudi energy minister Prince Abdulaziz bin Salman declined to answer questions on how the compromise was reached. Moving on to the top news in the energy sector. Oil prices plunged more than $4 a barrel on Monday, headed for its worst day since March, after OPEC Plus agreed to boost output, stoking fears of a surplus as rising COVID-19 infections in many countries threaten demand. Crude oil's year-long surge has been sputtering for most of the last two weeks with the prospect of new supply undermining the case for higher prices. With the Delta variant of the coronavirus spreading, funds bailed out of long positions on Monday. Brent crude lost $4.23, or 5.8%, at $69.36 a barrel by 11.08 a.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time, 15.08 GMT. U.S. oil futures were down $4.56, or 6.4%, at $67.25 a barrel. India is in talks with crude producers about securing more affordable oil prices after tax-laden pump prices of gasoline and gasoil surged to record highs in Asia's third-largest economy, adding to inflation. India, the world's third biggest oil importer and consumer, ships in over 80% of its oil needs from overseas. The government has been taking up the issue, bilaterally with crude oil-producing countries as well as with the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC. For affordable crude prices for consuming countries like India, Junior Oil Minister Ramazwar Telly told lawmakers in a written reply. Next, we have the top news in metal markets. China will strengthen commodity price monitoring and continue to release copper, aluminium, and zinc from its state reserves in batches, the National Development and Reform Commission, NDRC, said on Monday. In a rare move aimed at cooling a rally in metal prices that has pushed up raw material costs for Chinese manufacturers, the state planner sold 20,000 tons of copper, 50,000 tons of aluminium, and 30,000 tons of zinc from its reserves on July 5. More than 200 non-ferrous fabricators attended the bidding, with sales prices about 3 to 9% lower than market price that day, the NDRC spokesman Yuan Da said at a press briefing. As tensions mount between China and the United States, automakers in the West are trying to reduce their reliance on a key driver of the electric vehicle revolution, permanent magnets, sometimes smaller than a pack of cards, that power electric engines. Most are made of rare earth metals from China. The metals in the magnets are actually abundant, but can be dirty and difficult to produce. China has grown to dominate production, and with demand for the magnets on the rise for all forms of renewable energy, Analysts say a genuine shortage may lie ahead. We will now look at the top news in the agricultural sector. Ukrainian milling wheat export bid prices rose by $3 to $6 a tonne over the past week on uncertainty over the harvest in the Black Sea region because of bad weather, the APK Inform Agriculture Consultancy said on Monday. The 2021 harvest soft milling wheat with 12.5% protein was traded at $225 to $232 black sea free on board, 
FOB, the consultancy said in a report. Feed wheat prices were flat at $217 to $224 FOB. Ukraine exported 44.6 million tons of grain in the whole of the 2020-21 season, with the government expecting exports to rise to 56 million tons in the 2021-22 season thanks to a bigger harvest. That is all for today's news on commodity markets. Stay tuned to Trade Flow News as we continue to provide you with more updates. We also invite you to follow us on Twitter at Trade Flow News which allows you to watch our program on your mobile device or desktop to receive information from there.